Hello everyone and welcome to another beer review. Now we're doing a beer from Hampshire this time and it's supposed to be a blonde ale. There we go. Now it's from the Ringwood Brewery which is really right on the border with Dorset so it's really kind of West Hampshire this brewery so it's very close to Bournemouth and Poole is where Ringwood is. Now this is known as Boondoggle, and it's 4.2%, it's so a 500ml bottle, it's just under £2, and uh, it's produced by the Carlsberg Marsden Brewing Company at the Ringwood Brewery. So there's a bit of spill in the back, it says, we take two, we take two things seriously at Ringwood, our ales and our leisure time. Hmm. Been to Ringwood quite a few times. If they mean kind of lazy, then probably yes, because I've dealt with people in Ringwood and I just found them. Well, if you can't be asked, don't bother coming into work. It was my kind of review of them, you know, because like everything just seemed to be a chore, even though they're getting paid to do it, and you're thinking. So maybe that's what they mean by leisure. Leisure and lazy. There you go. But anyway. Along with creating quality craft ales, we are relaxation enthusiasts. Our motto is visit the winding downs and place a place to enjoy some quality time with friends. Our blonde boondoggle is a deliciously fruity and affectionately crafted to savour and satisfy. Best enjoyed with a spicy burrito. It's very specific, isn't it? Yeah. You know, because you'd be sitting there thinking, ah, oh, shit, I've got a kebab. That's a bastard. Ah, oh, well then, I can't drink this because I don't have a spicy burrito. I mean, no offence, but I do get this feeling that a lot of the spill on the back of these labels is a load of arseholes sitting around a, a table in the marketing department thinking, what shit can we put in the back of this? Because, hey, people will believe any old pish. I mean, I can imagine that type of kind of theme going there with the kind of discussions. They might not be using that exact kind of language, but I think they'd be using the same level of content for the people that are expected to pay money for their products and uh, believe this BS on the back. I don't like it when they give tasting notes because the problem is just like everybody's palate is different and that's why there's so many different beers out there because... People enjoy different beers because of a different kind of uh, reaction to different flavour profiles. Everyone's different. And just on that basis, if you recommend any kind of food to go with any drink, well, just because it works for you doesn't mean it's going to work for other people. They might find it abhorrent. Yes, they might like the beer or the drink or whatever, but they feel it doesn't go well with that kind of suggestion. So my view is don't. Treat the beer as a beer. If you want to have it with food, yeah, that's fine. Go and enjoy it with food and I hope it goes well with it. But the main thing is, it's brewed as a drink in itself. It's brewed to be drunk by itself without any kind of additional accompaniments. And it has to be treated like that. Nobody basically starts off brewing a beer like, right, I want to brew a beer that goes well with a spicy burrito. Because everyone does that. I mean, I'm sitting there when I'm doing my home brew, I'm thinking, fancy to have your roast chicken in the next uh, month. So what I want to do is brew a nice beer that's going to go with that roast chicken. Said nobody ever. So yeah, don't get me started. It's a lot of bollocks, seriously. But anyway. I think I've done that. There we go. Let's crack it open and see what it's like. Oh, I wish I had a spicy burrito, just to prove them wrong. Anyway, don't get me started. We're always dubious about this because it's, oh Jesus, I made an arse of that a wee bit. But it's quite a lively beer. 
But I'll show you the carbonation. Until they're not. But anyway. As you can see for a blonde, it's a bit darker. I think I did a blonde from the Shipley Brewery. Um, so I did. The salt here. From the Shipley Brewery. And uh, it was a lot lighter. It was a blonde ale. But there you go. It's getting more towards a golden ale though, rather than a blonde. But there we go. Let's see what it smells like. All right. Yeah, I'm getting pale light malts. Quite a lot of it. I'm getting a hint of sweetness, you know, that kind of slight sweetness, a malty sweetness. Getting the smell of that. So, um, not really getting any kind of hops, kind of flavours at the moment. Or aromas. I'm going to tell you flavours. Also. Not getting any aromas that are kind of rela relating to hops. So, yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Fuck me. Jesus. That's a new one. That's that's a new one on me. That's uh the only burst of flavour you get is at the front of the mouth and then that's it and it just kinda just lingers right all the way through to you swallow. That's it. Th there is no change. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I mean, a one-dimensional beer. And you are, you're getting this kind of slightly malt with a little malty sweetness. And that's what you're getting at the front of the mouth. And then that's it. It just, just stays there. That's it. There's nothing else. <laughs> that's just dreadful. <laughs> I'm laughing because it has to be you have to take, see the funny side I mean seriously I don't know if they plan to do this but I can see why it goes well with a spicy burrito because at the end of the day you need a spicy burrito to give you some fucking flavour <laughs> that's just absolutely unbelievable I mean so god I mean even a home brew that goes goes wrong is going to have more flavour than this <laughs> seriously that is unbelievable Fuck, there's absolutely nothing there. Well, I'll break down the flavours. Front of the mouth, light malt, light to pale malt, a light malty sweetness, and that's it. And that kind of drags into the kind of mid tongue and then into the aftertaste. And then the malt's bugger off and you just get the light kind of sweetness kind of dissipating and that's it. That's what you've got. So if you like them flavour profiles and uh, you want nothing else, then this beer is right up your street. If uh, if you want something to go with a spicy burrito, I've got the drink for you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's just crap. That really is just crap. Marsden's, Carlsberg and Marsden. Eh? You, <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'll be totally honest. If I got a pint of this in a pub, I'd be turning around the bar and I'd say, Let me check that keg, I think it's off. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm only I'm only getting one one dimensional flavour here, you know, there's something wrong here, is it is it gone off? And that's what it feels like. It's just like there's nothing really there. The problem is it's not watery, that's the thing. You think that's the case is oh it's not watery, you know. The flavour profiles, I'm not saying they're prominent, but they're not really subtle either. So they're there, and then they just, that's it, they just stay there. There's no change, no addition, no subtraction, it's just, what you get is what you get. <laughs> Nothing else, it's just... Mm. Right. There's nothing more I can say about that. That's just, it's just rubbish. Right, what would I give this out of ten? Not much, as you're probably expecting. Yeah, 
I'm going to give it 2 out of 10. It's just not there at all, really. It's just, it's amazing. 2 out of 10 is just lacking flavour, lacking complexity, just lacking everything, to be totally honest. It's the, it's, I would probably say that even the flavours that are there, they, they sound maybe okay, the kind of multi sweetness and the pale light malts, but they're not even particularly nice either. They're just kind of, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, what we call sweaty scummy, you know, they're not nice and clear and a nice kind of clarity to it. Or, of course, if you get them with darker beers and that, the kind of warmth to it and that type of stuff, you get none of that. It's just a case of, there you go, they're kind of there, but not the most palatable kind of forms of these flavours. So, yeah, two out of ten. Under two pound a bottle, 500 ml. What's the percentage? 4.2 percent. Would I recommend it? No. If you want to try it, give it a go, especially if you've got a, a spare spicy burrito hanging about that's kind of not doing anything. <laughs> so yes, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want something to dunk your spicy burrito in, then hey, this is, this is the, the thing for you, you know, maybe treat it as a sauce rather than a drink. <laughs> maybe a marinade, I don't know, seriously. So yeah, two out of ten, don't bother, waste of time, waste of money, far better things out there. So, thanks for watching, cheers, and bye for now.